It's a good idea to teach your students both an ISO standard and an ANSI standard because these are documents that they will see in industry. SOLIDWORKS drawings, assemblies, and parts are all associative. If you modify a dimension or a parameter in a part, it will be affected in the drawing. Open the Tutor 1 part, double click on the extrude feature, and change 50 to 40. Click the green check mark. Notice that the model has changed. Open the assembly. The assembly asks a question, do you want to rebuild the model? When you click yes, the part, Tutor 1, is updated in the assembly. Notice how the dimension has changed. Let's try one more area of associativity. What do you think happened to the drawing? Click Window and select the Tutor 1 Sheet 1 drawing. The dimension also changed from 50 to 40 to reflect changes in the part. Let's insert a second sheet. Right click anywhere in the white area, click Add Sheet. Click OK. A Landscape is my default sheet format. Select Drawing, select Standard 3 View. Select the assembly. Click a position inside the sheet format and all three standard views are displayed. In this case, I want to modify the sheet scale. Right click, Properties, and change the sheet scale from 1 to 2 to 1 to 4. Click OK. Next, I'll insert an isometric view. Click Model View, click Assembly, click the isometric view from the standard views orientation, select Shaded, and click a position to the right of the top view. Click OK. Click Next. Lastly, I just want to show what an ANSI standard looks like. So I'll click on Document Properties, select on ANSI, and display the arrowheads and text in an ANSI format. When you change a dimensioning standard, you will need to adjust the dimensions. Select Print to print your drawing. You can also utilize File Print for more options. Click OK and click Save.